spoke to Rich, though. He's Arsenal fan. All right, Rich? All right, Rich. How you going, boys? All right? All right, Rich. All right, Rich. How are you? How are you? All talk- right. Rich, yeah, good, talk Rich. about good. Arsenal, we have, before I have to dump you yeah, again. That's what I wanted to talk about. All right, go on. But it was hard to go straight into Arsenal after speaking about what you were speaking about. But anyway. True story. Yeah. 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 Candy's fault as ever. Ja- Jamie, right, I don't know whether it's like you're trying to wind people in. Go on. But boring, boring Arsenal. I was really? boring, mate, wasn't it? Terrible game of football. Do you know what? Do you know what? Can I tell you something? Right? Because I was really nervous about that game because, look, over the years, what Man City have done to us. I mean, last year, they scored seven goals against us, right? This year, they haven't scored any goals against us. And watching, just watching Arsenal without the ball and how they were and and what they did with Harlan. Last year, when they beat us 4-0, I, mean, I think it was Jamie Carragher or something, said Arsenal was frightened to death of Harlan. And rightly so at the time. Mm. But you've got to give us some sort of credit because, look, we've got the best defence, We've got the best defence, but we've also scored the most most goals. We weren't boring. The game management yesterday and the way that everyone knew their job, and it makes me even believe more that I, I'm not sure that we can win the league because I still think, you know, Man City are just out of this world still. Like, they I'm weren't, though, were they? Yes, so they're not this season. Because but No, they weren't yesterday because we, we stopped them being like that. Yeah, because it was we so stopped. dull to watch, though. L- listen, fair play. Look, Rich... You know, you've done a job on them. You know, part the bus, Jose Mourinho performance. You know, knows oh, how to get a result, game, like wins something. trophies. Can, you know, all right, can, yeah, no, listen, he's done all right. Don't get me wrong, but we, we I just when I'm when, when I'm watching two of the best teams that have been going at it over the last four or five seasons, Liverpool, Man City, they go toe to toe against each other. We ain't backing off. We ain't scared of you, and you ain't scared of us. And we're gonna have it, and the best team comes out on top. Um, it, it, and it, it, you know, really, and truthfully, I was expecting that from Arsenal a little bit. <clears throat> I was expecting no, a bit more no, sort of cojones from them. Do you know what? Do you know what? Man City, that's the first time Man City have not scored at home since I think 2021 or something, right? And all I'd just like to say, it wasn't a great game to watch if you're a new a Terrible player. game to watch. But for me, do you know what? I really enjoyed it. And I really enjoyed seeing Arsenal being as physical, being you as... You didn't enjoy that performance, football. Rich. You didn't. I was sat there thinking, Arsenal fans can't be enjoying this. It. I didn't enjoy it. I admired right, it. Yeah, and I mean, well, admired I it. Say, fair enough, but yeah, didn't enjoy it. Is, what I would say is, is that no one's going to fancy playing us, and whether it's the Premier League, which I'm not sure we can win, but I still think over two games, Arsenal going to be very, very hard to beat. And just a little bit of kudos where it, where it's due. I'm not saying we're going to win anything because we could have a great season and everything, and wind up like you said on, a, on other things, and wind up with nothing. But at the end of the day, kudos where it's due. We're a different team when we play Man City. We played them three times this season, and they haven't come out on top in any of them. Mm. And that's how that's how much we've improved. Yeah. And watching Arsenal, watching Arsenal <clears throat> without the ball, how they set up, George Graham would have been proud of that, like you said earlier on, and I'm proud of it. It wasn't great to watch, but I admire it. Mm. And we got a point, and we didn't get slaughtered like I all the other I think it's more the fact that Man City are just not the same team this season than they was last season. That's my honest opinion. They've lost too many good players. Well, they're still the best team in the world at the moment, really, aren't they? World Club champions, European champions. Yeah, that's from last everything. season, from last season's yeah, team. But this I team's know, different. It's a different team this season, to be fair. But you, but, but you look at you look at their team, and there's just players from top to bottom. <laughs> You'll find the Foden, Haaland, um, uh, Rodri, Doku. I mean, that Doku, I think he's going to be a really good player. And at the end of the it's day, contract. look, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't live up to the building that it, it was got. But at the end of the day, it keeps uh, the table tight. We're still in it. They're still in it. And I admire that we didn't go there and try and go toe to toe with them and get thrashed. Do you know, Rich? Look, I, 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 I agree with you. But the, the, the problem that you've got and the city have got is that Liverpool were the big winners. So it's all well and good saying. And I, you you know, I don't disagree with anything you said. The truth is now, Liverpool are sat there watching you two slug out a point each. They've taken three. They've now got a little bit more of a grip on the title. Their running is, I think, as as good as you could probably wish for at this stage of the season, bearing in mind how good City is, have been over the last four or five years. Theirs is tougher. I think that this puts... It's one of those games that you felt both Arsenal and City had to win. And the draw 
feels as though you're well, going to get either silver or bronze. But the, but the thing is, Jace, when you when you get it to this weekend, I think haven't Liverpool got to play Man United at Man United? Yeah, Sunday. yeah, they do. There's, there's tough games. There's tough games. Yeah, and so, yeah. It, so it 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 can be top. Of course, it can be top. And of it course. can be topsy turvy. Yeah. And the other thing is, we've got a better goal difference than all of them now as well. Which you wouldn't have thought that as uh, um, sort of going into into this year. Mm. Look, we've got a chance. But I, t- to be honest, like what, what Jamie, or, I don't know whether you said it or, or Jamie said it earlier on. You, you had some guys saying, an idiot saying we were going to win this, that, and the other. We haven't won the Champions League, and my heart of hearts, and my heart of hearts, I'd love to see Arsenal be a great team, be a great London team. Chelsea have won the Champions League twice, and it sticks in my throat. And I'd love to see Arsenal win the Champions League, mm. and I think more than the Premier League. Well, you're in the right direction, that's for sure. You're going in the right direction, Rich. I mean, you're a lot better team than you was last season. Give them that. Why are you being more resilient. to Rich? No, they're being more resilient. They're more resilient. Yeah. They yeah. are. But it was a boring game to watch for a neutral. I know, but, but you sit there, Easter Sunday, you're up for a massive game. Two teams Mate. going at it, what you asked for. And, you know, football, you know what, football. you know, look, just look what we've had over the years, right? Man United Arsenal rivalry, Man United Liverpool rivalry, Man City Liverpool rivalry. And then you've got now, really, Arsenal are in amongst it at, to win the title. Arsenal, Man City rivalry. I was expecting a, a blockbuster game. And what I got. Well, their, but their job is not to Mourinho entertain you. Arsenal. It's not their, their job. No, I know, but it's, it's to win. It's to find think, a way to win. It's yeah, then, yeah. You, you won't get yeah. any apologies from any anyone. Yeah, Arteta's not going to apologise. Why should he? No, 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 no. He's done a job. He's done a job on Man City and fair play to him. But I just think over the course of the season, the most exciting team, the best oh, team, Arsenal. Will to be fair, will they, win the they, league. They, you know, they they do enough to make sure your Sky subscription is is entertained. They've they've been decent. Yeah, right? they have been good. I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm clutching at straws really, and I do you know what I mean because I was expecting a big game, um, and now I've got to sit here and talk to you about you know. Championship football and spotty bums. Uh, right, let's go to Trev, who's a Plymouth Park goal fan. Right, Trev. Right, Trev. Great lad. How are you, Trev? Right, Trev. I'm buzzing after today because we got rid of that that useless bloke Ian Foster as our manager. Mm. And he should never been. In, he should never been in charge in the first place. He's got no management skills. Uh, he got the job, and do you know what? Don't, don't you think that team like Plymouth is a good a good job? Yeah, of course it's a good job. You're in a championship. It's a great job. No, it's not. But I just, I just think that we've, a great job. Years, we've had good managers over the years, and I just think that you know, if, if you know, it's a beautiful part of the world. If you're ever down there, yeah, lovely part that, of the world. Mm, yeah, lovely, lovely part of the world. Lovely, yeah. so there's only, there's only, there's only one man for the job. Who is, is it? Jason Cundy? Neil Warnock is the man. Neil Warnock, <clears throat> not Southgate. Southgate out. Neil Warnock's the man. Get him in. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. You know, he, he left, what was it, Aberdeen? He lives, oh. down, he lives down there, doesn't he? He lives he down there. He's got a farm down there or something. He's a Cornish, he's, he lives in Cornwall. Yeah. He's not right. in Cornwall. I guarantee he's you that's Trev, happening, mate. Trev, I'm, Trev, Because for him to leave and walk away from Aberdeen... Let, let him let him retire, leave him alone. He don't want to retire, Neil. He wants to love the no, job. Leave him alone. He yeah. loves yeah. the job, or mate. the other one, Go on. the other one, and Jason, Jason maybe you can have a word with me. I don't know if he makes yours, Go but... On. Uh, Scotty Parker, I think it'd be good. Yeah. It'd, it'd be good for him. Actually, it's really funny though. you say that because I was sat with Scotty Parker two days ago in Portugal. <laughs> uh, uh, defensive... and it, and oh, I, I can probably assure you, mate, it's definitely not going to Plymouth. No, no. lovely part of the world, Trev. Plymouth got palm trees down there. Lovely part. Of... <laughs> what is it? Got palm trees down there. Scotty's living in Portugal, mate. I'm yeah. the Largo, oh, living the dream. He, oh, he ain't coming back. Mate. I see him Give in the, the gym. I went, yeah. Scotty, you're right, yeah. mate. Yeah. He was like, "Hi, James, how are you?" I went, "In yeah. danger of a job." He's like. Yeah. Sports well. Yeah. Co host, kind of these rubbish. <laughs> uh, it was great to see him, actually. But yeah, he was talking about some of the jobs. I said, You're going to get back in? He said, Yes. Is he? Um, and he's Plymouth. In... Yeah, but I don't know if it was Plymouth that no, he's looking at. Uh, hopefully, they, they sort it out. Neil Warnock? No. No. Let, let... Neil, honestly, it's not fair. What do you to mean? Paul Neil. Just let, let Neil, he left Aberdeen. Yes, I know, but he'd... leave Neil alone. Six let, games. Ne- Keep yours up. Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah for take, it. Yeah, yeah. take it. Yeah, half a meal in the bank. Yeah, yeah go on. Take it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Keep your calls coming in. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talksport.